Hey guys, and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. Today I am bringing you this raw installation, and this will be a lace melt on dark skin, and we'll be using a 613 lace wig. Now today's hair is sponsored by Tanache Hair, and they sent over this 22 inch 613 13 by 6 lace front wig. It is so pretty, the hairline is already pre-plugged. They did send me over a few goodies in their card, as well as all their information. Now we're just going to go ahead and open up this wig so you guys can see it up close and personal before I do the install and this is what the wig looks like just right out of the box and with blonde hair it is transparent lace so you don't have to do any bleaching of the knots or anything like that because the hair is blonde so I'm just going to go ahead and start this installation for you now today I'll be installing on my beautiful friend and um, we're doing the 613 meltdown on dark skin now the reason why i wanted to do this video because i see a lot of stylists like melt laces on light skin but they don't never really cater to the dark skin women as far as melting the lace without it having that ashy look so this will be a very detailed video on how to get your lace to look melted without looking ashy especially when you are using a blonde wig or just transparent lace in general now i did go ahead and spray that uh, lace tint by true match lace conceal and the colors dark and i also used the lace tint deep dark so i did one layer of each and i let that air dry so um of course i already had went and uh you know did my ball cap method I used um, Ruby Kisses Level 16 foundation on top of the lace, and that's when I used the lace uh, tint for the wig itself. So I did the foundation on the cap and then the tint on the lace. So here I am just showing you pretty much um, how to apply your bold hole active. I did do four layers for her install and I'm just showing two layers and um, how much glue I use and the width of the glue. So it is about an inch, you wanna do it like half an inch on the cap and then half an inch, you know, give or take um, on the skin itself. And that will also help you as far as um, using the mousse method to do your baby hairs. If you want to do baby hairs, it will help it not lift um, so quickly you just have to use more glue, but you still want to spread the glue out nice and smooth before laying down your wig and you want to make sure that the, uh, the glue turns clear before you actually pull that lace down into that glue. So like I mentioned, I showed you two layers here, but once I get to layer number four, I'm gonna go ahead and pull down her lace. So um, it is mostly clear here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that lace down into that glue. Now, after um, I begin to cut the lace on this installation, I want you guys to pay very close details on how I transform the ashy look from the blonde lace to make it melt totally like just into her skin and i also have a new little t uh, technique that i've been trying out and i absolutely love it and it just helps with the melting process and also um the like how long you can wear your lace without having any you know lifting problems and everything like that it actually makes the lace hold a bit stronger so we're gonna get into that right after this but here i'm just you know pulling the lace down into that glue having my uh my friend hold each side and then i'm just taking my comb and my blow dryer on the heat setting and just blowing drying and combing that lace down into that glue and i'm going to repeat these steps on the same side now as far as cutting the lace i will be using the scissor technique not the razor so i'm just going to use uh the scissors going in a zigzag motion and yeah just getting off that extra lace but you guys will see exactly what I was talking about if when it comes to like you know as far as the uh, the lace looking ashy before I use my uh, melting technique to make the lace blend better so here I am just cutting off that extra lace and this is a common mistake most stylists make that I've noticed like uh, some stylists don't really know like i mentioned before how to melt lace on darker skin because um you know it's much easier on lighter skin tones to blend the lace 
So just follow exactly what I'm doing and a technique that I use in this video. And you just apply the same technique to whatever your skin tone is and it will work just perfectly for you. So this is the ashy look I was talking about that you get most of the time um, when you cut off that, you know, that extra lace, even with that lace tint under there. But I'm going to show you how to correct that uh, shortly. But right now I'm just, you know, cutting off that lace and just tacking down all the corners um, that is still lifting with that uh, got to be, I'm sorry, not got to be, but the uh, bold hold uh, active lace glue. I'm just tacking down everything using the end of my rat tail comb, uh, cutting off the extra, uh, the extra lace around the ears because that is very important. You don't want to leave the lace on top of your client's ear. Make sure you do uh, cut it around the ear, cut as much as possible to where it's comfortable and not causing any tension or pressure to their ears. And you just want to repeat, repeat this step to the other side as well. So now that all the lace is cut, I'm just going to continue to tack down those lifting pieces um, all over the hairline. And then I'm going to go ahead and begin to part her hair down the center. Because before actually getting to uh, using my melt belt, which you can purchase on my website, they're $5. But shipping, they're 12 And pri that's priority shipping. Um, I would like, like I parted the hair first and hot comb the roots out before I got into the second part of melting this video. So yeah, I'm just gonna tack this down and then we're gonna get into how to turn that lace from that white shadow um, to a melted look. Now to get my parts super sleek and you know like hair laid down to the T, I just go in with a wax stick. It could be any brand wax stick, honestly. Um, but I am using the She Is Bomb collection. I also use the Care Care wax stick. Like any wax stick I could find, honestly, they all just work, you know, just the same. So yeah, you can use any brand wax stick and you just want to apply that wherever you're gonna be hot combing to, you know, achieve those super sleek and uh laid hair so i'm just using that and i will just hot comb it down till it is completely flat and smooth
Okay, so now that we have that all pressed down, here is the key factor to getting your lace um, to melt into the skin. Now her lace is in, but it can be better and we will make it better. And this is the little trip technique that I like to use. I am taking her foundation color, which is from the Ruby Kisses uh, level 16. And I'm taking that dark shade and I am literally just tapping it at the edge. You do not want to use a lot. You just need to lightly tap it at the edge to get away that white cast. And after I take that white cast, this is the new technique I've been doing that gives me great results and I love it. And it keeps the hair holding longer. And that's that bed head uh, styling spray. I spray that out all across the hairline after I am done gluing everything down and melting it in. And then I take my melt belt and I tie that hairline down uh, nice and firm. And I let that sit while I'm working on the rest of the hairstyle. Now, just that little technique will make a big difference. And here is the results here. I'm going to actually slow-mo when I'm removing uh, that band. So here it is exactly what it looks like after following uh, the techniques that I have showed you. That white cast that she had all around her hair is completely gone and it looks way more natural. So now I'm just going to go ahead and um, begin to comb out the hairstyling spray that was on the edges and I'm just shaping and molding everything what I did in the process of uh, letting that lace melt in, I had it on for about 10 minutes as I was just uh, flat iron that straight wig out. That took about, you know, 10 minutes or less of my time. And I removed that band after like, you know, 8 to 10 minutes. So that was the result and the new technique that I use now to get it super melted. And I'm just going back in once again with that hairstyling spray because we would not be doing to, uh, any baby hairs for this tutorial. Um, honestly, I don't really like baby hairs on colored hair because especially with blonde, cause it's like you can't really even see it when you swoop it. So it's just really no point to me. So I'm just gonna go back in with that bed head and just comb uh, the hairline back and dry it. So it has like that uh, pushback look. And then I would just, you know, do like the comb over method to get the hair nice and sleek out. And I would just repeat these same steps to the other side. Now, this style is almost complete, but just not yet, because now we're going to have to get that part more clean and precise. And, you know, y'all already know I'm going with my um, foundation um, to conceal those parts nice and clean. So this is just like a little side view of the little technique that I told you guys as far as the uh, foundation method, just dabbing it on the front of their lace. And make sure it is the client's exact um, foundation skin tone and that way it will look more flawless like here. And look, she is working the camera, y'all. But anywho, let's get into, like I said, uh, concealing that part. But I am using the same foundation I tapped on the front of her hairline and just taking the an angle brush and just putting it clean into that part. And as you can see, it made a major difference. Like concealing the part is so important and blending um, that lace with their skin because it just makes it 10 times better. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Here was a little selfie video of my friend. She cute, y'all. But let me know how y'all feel about this install down in the comments.